Drink your healthy juice. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Super Animal Royale. Look at all these cute little animals. We got a raccoon, a husky, uh, a fox, a sloth, a calico cat, a deer, a tiger, a skull cat, a bear, a panda, and a hound. I think I'm going to be the sloth because I'm not very good at battle royale games, but this one looks kind of fun. I don't have any skins for the sloth, but I do have a spiffy top hat, classy gentleman. And then uh, we've got some umbrellas that we can hang on to. The bear, the fox, and the tiger umbrella are probably going to be the most popular ones. So I don't want to be any of those. I'm going to take these blue polka dots. That's what I'm about. And then you got these death emotes. I guess I'm going to pick the, uh, the one on the far right here. It seems the classiest. Oh, and emotes. Sweet. So we've got a basic dance, a wave, a clap, a cheer. <laughs> that cheer's super annoying. Floss dance, handstand, and uh, probably the one I will pick is this heel click because that seems like something that a classy gentleman would do. Okay, so let's get into a match. Huzzah, Mr. Sloth, ready to uh, bring the doom, hopefully. So look at all these fuckers just hanging out. Oh, and that's really nice too. You can use cover and such. It's kind of like uh, Project Zomboid is what it reminds me of immediately. So as usual, you fly in on your your trusty, <laughs> I guess it's an eagle this time. Usually it's a plane or a helicopter, but I guess we can we can stick with eagle. The map is fucking gigantic, as far as I can tell. Um, so I guess we'll drop off somewhere in the middle, as we tend to do. I usually go in the middle or like somewhere right near the end, but I want to jump into this thing. I want to see if we can make it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? So, uh... Mm, about right here. Yeah, we'll drop into this camp over yonder. I see it looks like body armor in this first tent, and that kitty cat with the, the bear umbrella is also lurking this place, so let's get this armor. They don't stack, so <laughs> that's good to note. Uh, and then we get this basic little handgun, first thing. Let's see if we can find that kitty. Maybe he didn't get lucky with the weapons. Hey! He did. He did. Oh, level 3 body armor. Alright, I'll take this and I'm out. I don't actually want to get into a fight this early. I did have to wait just a little while for the match to start up. It was probably 3 three to 5 minutes, which ain't too bad compared to something like Fear the Wolves. But once this game comes to a full release, I'm not too sure. Uh, the price point for it is around $13, which... Price point on a Battle Royale game is generally not a good idea, as we saw from Fear the Wolves, but I do like this game overall. There's somebody breaking barrels out there. So let's see if we can uh, go go say hello. Alright, just fire a couple shots and fucking be on my way. Hey, I mean business. Goodbye. I mean uh, a relative amount of business. I mean, I won't try to kill you if you don't try to kill me. That's how it is. And I really feel bad trying to kill somebody that only has a melee weapon. That's just sad. Oh, look at this fucking hamster ball. That's pretty cool. But I want to get this shotgun. That's what I really need. Only five shells. Maybe we should waste a couple. That guy's not going to come up through there. Through that little fucking choke point. He's smarter than that, isn't he? So, we'll pull the pistol back out. Ooh, I'll take this SMG. That's even better. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to fucking merc some dudes. I did see somebody on the right there. <clears throat> but I'm trying to get my get my shit together. You know what I mean? I need some more ammo. I need some better weapons. They do have the rarity on the weapons, as they do in most of these Battle Royale games. It's really a clone copy of almost every other Battle Royale game that we've seen. Not a whole lot of innovation or anything like that, uh, as far as I can tell. The hamster ball is kind of cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's definitely better than Rapture Rejects, I'll give it that. Rapture Rejects, uh, we played, uh, but yeah, it definitely wasn't one that stuck with me. This has a much more likable aesthetic, you know what I mean? It doesn't seem to be trying uh, so hard to be cool or hip, which I really do appreciate. Especially in the uh, the battle royale genre that's just fucking edgy as hell everywhere you look. This hamster ball's hard to drive, dude. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Somebody's gonna hear me. Oh, there's a guy in the house. Okay, you guys fight each other. I'm going over here. Maybe I can pick off the winner. <laughs> Hello? Alright, I've got armor. I'm good. 
We just need shotguns. Oh, that didn't seem to work too well. There's no ammo left over here, but this is a, a rare AK, so I'll take these. Shotgun, unfortunately, has fucking nothing inside it. Uh, but we're down to the, the top ten. <laughs> That's the nice part about my kind of turtly play strategy. I'm just like, eh, I don't really care about getting kills. You just make it to the end. Hopefully have good enough gear. But if you're not killing players, then, yeah, it's, it's generally hard to have the good enough gear. Luckily, I'll get some scavenging done. Oh, boy. Get him, get him. Oh, that panda's jumping around. Shit. He almost took my life. Dango. Ooh, anti strong fucker grenades. All right. I ain't about it, dude. Sorry. I'm gonna go hide. I'm gonna go hide in the tent. <laughs> Pick up some more armor. Yes. Oh, hey. I got somebody. <laughs> Sweet. This AK came in handy. It says that I'm picking up health, but um, can't quite figure out how how to drink it. And yeah, this shotgun's kind of useless as far as I'm concerned. I'll just stick with the AK. I've only got fucking the 61 bullets for it, so one clip and then another one. But the fights in this game go relatively quickly. Oh, there's somebody up there. Hey, damn! I got a few hits in, but. He has a minigun, so I got fucked up. But yeah, five people left. I guess we could spectate till the uh, end of the match. That might be kind of nice. I want to see how these top-level players do it. That minigun is fucking awesome. I don't know where you find something like that. Ooh, we got fucking taken with the shotgun. Three people left. Rus Russian Decidui. That's a that's a cool name. It's a Pokemon name. I'm not surprised that somebody who likes Pokemon would be uh, attracted to this sort of game. Because it attracts me as well. And I also play Pokemon too. So now we got a fucking 1v1. Poison gas is advancing. Oh boy. Here it goes. That dude has a, a sniper, I think. Sniper versus shotgun. We'll see how it goes. Dang. Face full of buckshot. Dude. And the poison is what ended the match. <laughs> yeah, pretty nice though. That's pretty cool. I can sort of dig this game. It's a little bit easier to play than other battle royales, or at least uh, a bit more forgiving. Let's change the handstand for the emote that I never fucking use. And jump back into matchmaking. Hooray! Alright. Look at all these dudes just hanging out. Smacking each other with swords. This is what we do around here. Dango. Animator here. Yeah, they, the devs are playing this game. And then some dude's like, Animation suck. You suck. <laughs> You're so salty, bro. Just take a break. Take a break. It's like a three hour play test. So I uh, have time to sit down for about an hour. Hopefully, we'll get a few good matches in here. But my first match went relatively well, all things considered. I actually got a kill, which I generally don't expect for Battle Royale games, so... Nicely done, Super Animal Royale. It's not exactly the most, uh... The most innovative name. But oh well, I won't hold that against him. Oh shit, this is the end of the map, gotta go. <laughs> Why do I always do this? See if uh, a different strategy might work out for me. There's a fucking dude over there in the tents. Oh boy. He's gonna shoot me. Don't shoot me. I'm a nice guy. Get some armor. That is important. The level 1 armor seems to be absolutely everywhere. But I want that. Oh! God damn! I fucking Merc the dude that was, was gonna shoot me. With my super cool, uh shotgun that is a tier higher than the shotgun that he has so suck on that nice early kill like i said yeah this game is just a bit more forgiving maybe i'm better at it or something the the third person thing makes me better at it i don't know i'm still pretty terrible all things considered i want to win a chicken dinner but is that like cannibalism or something i don't know i don't know We've got all these carnivores in this game, and I'm just a, a little sloppy man, hanging out, trying to eat some, eat some 
What do they eat? Eucalyptus? That's koala bears. They should have koala bears in this game. Right, give me this SMG. I'm gonna keep clearing out these houses with my little shotgun. Really wish you could stack armor up. That would be a, a very nice thing. But oh well. It is what it is. I don't really want that handgun necessarily. Hmm. I could also probably get through those boxes if I melee them. It does make a little bit of noise, but since the boxes are still set up, I assume nobody's been here, which is proven by the fact that I found some level 2 armor. So that should be pretty sweet. There's level 1 armor, I'll need that shit. Break the box. Break the box, keep on moving. Oh, I hear somebody. And an uncommon SMG. Yeah, I'll take that. Any day of the week. Bunch more shotgun shells. I do appreciate it. I think that's uh, what you have to do if you're turtling. <laughs> Collect a shit ton of ammo. And I wasn't really turtling because I got fucking a kill right off the bat. Even though that dude kind of came to me. He came to me, alright? He, he wanted it. He was asking for it. So I gives it to him. There's no ammo in these houses, which lets me know that somebody's probably been through here. So we want to keep our head on a swivel. I'll see if I can find another hamster ball and, like, cruise around and shit. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, it's also super loud. You gotta listen a lot in this game. There's a lot of tells and shit like that. Somebody's firing a weapon, you can see the, uh, the light on the ground outside, even if you're inside a building. Which kind of gives you a bead on where they are and stuff like that. Which I think is a really, really nice addition. It definitely plays different than a third-person uh, Battle Royale game, but in a nice way. You know what I mean? I sort of liked Rapture Rejects for the uh, third-person aspect. I think I'm just a little bit better at third-person. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <coughs> Fucking wrecked. <laughs> he grenaded the fuck out of me. All right, well... Enjoy my ammo, I guess. You bastard. I ain't gonna wait around for this. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Jake Botano. Oh! Jake Botano's a, a developer. <clears throat> they have a blue name. Alright. Back in the lobby. We're gonna do one more. One more of these things. And, uh... Hopefully it will go well. There's only 31 people, as opposed to, like, the 40 or so that there were in the previous games, so I don't know what happened there. I don't have any excuses as, as for why or where. But uh, we'll jump off this eagle. I guess here's good. Why not? Fuck it, I say. I want to get my, my loot nice and early. I'm going to check out this house. Little Husky's going to go in the uh, northern house. That's all right. Nothing in here except for some juice. Ooh, but an AK. Yeah. That's what I need. Come at me, bro. With your, your little fucking pistol. See what happens. I'm not gonna go searching out that husky because that's not the way that I like to play this. I don't know if you know this, but uh, I'm not very confrontational when it comes to battle royales. Oh, there's a shit ton of stuff out here. A shotgun, AKs, pistols, and a hamster ball. Yeah. Now we can get around super fast. Delivery mole has arrived. You can basically, yeah, chase down the mole and get a chest. Which generally has some pretty good stuff in it. But I ain't gonna bother with it. Oh, sniper. Yeah, I like the sniper. I get rid of my shotgun for that. Shotgun's basic. And I got a frag grenade too. So cool. I'm feeling pretty loaded out. The sniper rifle only has 15 bullets, but hopefully they fucking like one shot or something like that. I don't really know. Ain't had a chance to use it quite yet. I'm definitely more of a, a shotgun sort of player. I like a good shotgun more than anything. I guess SMG is kind of cool too. Wow, look at all this shit, man. So many treats. I'm taking all of this. Ugh. Yeah, my AK is fucking loaded up. I got 210 rounds. That's, uh, what, six clips plus the one that's in there, right? Is that good math? I guess. I think it is. Ah, uh, 
But we're down to 17 again, and I ain't seen nobody except for that fucking first dude, so I don't know where they're all hiding out. Maybe they went to chase down the delivery mole. But yeah, uh, there are many, many drops since there are fewer players. I'm just able to stack up all this fucking loot. Really nice. Get some uh, upgrade armor. <laughs> fucking AK just... I could fire this all day. I shoot it all day, and and ain't nothing gonna happen to me. Poison gas doesn't seem to really be uh, too scary of a thing, although I haven't gotten caught in it yet. I guess I'm just kind of used to that part of Battle Royales. I'm like, okay, there's a fucking line on the map, and you just, you just start moving down the line. Keep yourself out of the poison gas. It's, it's basic shit. Basic shit. We see it a hundred times. And I don't think we're going to stop seeing it anytime soon. Hamster ball time. Maybe I'll find some friends. Hey, everybody. I'm in a hamster ball. <laughs> a sloth in a hamster ball is fucking hilarious. I did see somebody on the, uh, the lower right of the screen there, but... I don't think they're going to come over here. What's this armor? Level 2? I got level 2, but I'll fucking switch it out anyways. This armor's better. I like the armor that I didn't sweat in. Oh, God. Sniper rifle was a fucking three shot, and that guy was going all melee for some reason. Q will let you drink your healthy juice, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Ah, feeling good. Oh god, I don't know how that guy fucking one shot me with a sniper rifle. Damn it. Well, still pretty decent game. We got a uh, at least one kill per match, so I'll take that. I'll take that, head held high, I'll see about uh, playing again when another playtest pops up, but yeah, it's a pretty good game, all things considered. I thank you for watching, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. Let me know what you think about Super Animal Royale. Will you check it out? Will you uh, purchase it when it comes to a full release? Would you like to play it with me when it comes to a full release? Because, you know... If there's a Battle Royale that I'm going to play, it's probably this or Realm Royale. Yeah, those are my two favorites so far, but uh, don't hold it against me. I guess I like that cutesy, cartoony style. Anyways, friends, thank you once again for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links in the description. We've got links to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. Big, big shout out to MMX Akira and Nico the Legend for supporting us on Patreon currently. Them boys, my fucking heroes. Anyways, friends, I'll see you in the next one, whatever we decide to do next. Thank you once again for watching. This has been Super Animal Royale. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. And I'll see you then. Until then, friends. Bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.